Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. We uh, got to get the International out today. It is Friday, about 2 o'clock, and I haven't touched this thing yet as far as getting the bags and stuff straightened out on it. And we leave tomorrow morning at like 8 or 9 o'clock, so I guess I better get with it. So yeah, I just got to get it checked out, make sure everything's good. Uh, other than the bags, I mean, I just want to check out a bunch of things and I may be adding something to it. I may be getting last minute. I don't know. We'll see if it all works out. But yeah, I got a lot of work to do, so I might be up late, but that's all right. We'll just make sure it's done and ready to go and it'll be safe and reliable for us so we don't have any problems with it. So let's get this guy out, get him over in the barn and get this run into our part, see what we got to get into to put the new bags in and keep them from rubbing like the old ones were. what we got on this side this side's not the bad side but you can still see where the bag's touching there and it's touching right up there so i think that piece will be easy enough to cut out and then the bag's obviously rubbing in this area right in there i'm gonna get your ears and see it there you go so i think that if i just trim some of this out I still want to try to keep this bump stop because that's actually what the truck airs down on. It comes down and touches that guy right there. That's actually where the truck sits right now, which I don't want to go any lower because we get into all this up here that I trimmed out so that the truck would lay as low as it is. But uh, I think the rest of the bag's okay, but we need to trim right here on this side as well. I don't think there's as much trimming to do as I thought there was, so that's good news. Um... I think this is just from the bags, I'm guessing, where they just air down and touch. I don't know. I need to probably look at that a little closer. Maybe the bags are actually touching each other right there, riding down the road. It kind of looks like that may be the case. But anyways, uh, we're going to do some checking here and see what we can get figured out with uh, cutting these out. So let's get this bag out, let's get it out of the way, and we'll get the plasma cutter out and start getting rid of some some metal i guess Here's what I've decided. This bag was really only rubbing right, where is it? Right there, that spot. Now it was touching in some other places, but it wasn't, there's no other places on the bag that look bad at all. So what I think I'm gonna do, because I did hear back finally, I know my last video I was saying I hadn't heard about my my a arms but they did email me back and they say that they're going to be shipping out very soon so i'm not going to go too extreme on this because it's going to go all over it's going to get all cut off and redone anyway so i think all i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut that right there out that piece because that's actually the place where it's rubbing so i'm not going to worry about cutting any of this stuff right now i because all this whole thing's going to come off and these top mounts are all going to come off now the arms i'm getting do bolt into the factory locations for the bottom but the tops get redone and this whole pocket here gets redone so all that's going to get cut off so there's no sense in getting too crazy and if it's made it you know this long with only rubbing a small bit right there it'll probably be fine that's what i'm going to go with i hope i don't regret that decision but 
I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get the plasma out. I'm going to cover up some of this stuff with some blankets so that I don't uh, hurt any of the rubber or anything. But I'm just going to torch that that piece out and then the bag won't rub there anymore. And I think we'll be good. We got the bag bowler back in there. I got a nice little bit cut out of there. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the wheel back on and I'm gonna try to leave it up on jack stands. I don't know, I wanna try to air this thing up but still be able to get under it to see what's going on. It's really hard when the wheels are on it, but I'm thinking that maybe if I stack up some blocks down here so that the wheel has something to push against that's higher up, that maybe I can uh, still be able to scoot underneath here and see what's going on. So I think that's what I'm going to do. just want to make sure that it's not going to touch any of that because, yeah, I'm going to try to clean it up some. And, yes, I'm going to put the new bag in it. I've still got the old one in there just to mock stuff up to make sure we're going to be good and not hit nothing. Um, yeah, but I'm going to clean that up. I'm not going to just leave that all nasty. I'm going to clean it up nice so it looks good. I may even weld a little patch in it. I haven't decided yet. But I think we got it clearance good. So, like I said, let's throw the wheel back on here and see what we got. Well, you can see what we cut out did make a difference. There is still a little bit there. You can see that I marked with a marker that needs to come out, but I think we're going to be pretty good on this side once I get that last little bit trimmed out, just so it clearance as well. And uh, while I was at it, I did go on ahead and do this side as well. So it is, it's been marked as well, so it's ready for me to trim that over there too. So. I'm going to get the wheels back off of this thing and trim a little more over here and then put the new bag in on this side so that it's done and then we'll move on to the passenger side. Oh crap. Sorry Todd, your truck's getting wet. All the paper's probably going to come off all the windows. Dang it. I just don't have a big enough shop for everything. I probably should put that thing outside because it's sealed up. But Oh, well, we're just washing it off for you, Todd. That's all. Well, I think I got this clearanced enough now so that the bag will clear good. But now I'm going to probably get my little uh, I don't know what they're called. They're like a the die grinder that has a little carbide guy on it that'll chew up some of that stuff. I'm going to try to get rid of all them sharp edges. It, it's way away from the bag, but no, my luck, I'll, you know, get too close to the bag and touch and put a hole in a new bag because that's just the way my luck goes. But anyways, so let's get that done and we can put this side back together. that car since 2010 my wife and I left our wedding in that car and it is going with its new owner sad day but a younger kid bought it that does excavating and uh, it's gonna be his new daily so it's been real it's been good so long Civic This is the big reason why we're changing these. You can see that one's got a whoop focus phone. There you go. 
That one's got a pretty big spot war in it. That's the main one that I've been worried about. So obviously we got this one to replace it and we're gonna cut the piece out that's rubbing. But there's really nothing else that's really rubbing on them that's hurting anything. Yes, they are touching in some more places, but there's really just this place that's on both bags. Now this one was just very minute. If I can even find it. Is it right there now? Right there. So that one was just starting to rub just a little, but this one rubbed a lot. <laughs> so that's the reason we're replacing them. That's the reason we're clearancing some of this stuff, but nothing else really seems to be hurting the bags where they're touching. So I'm not going to worry about cutting it up any more than what I have to. So well, let's get this one changed out and get uh, that other arm or that other piece clearanced out so it doesn't rub the new bag and get this thing back together and get the truck back on the ground because uh yeah it's dark out and we're leaving in the morning for smoky mountain yeah there is something right here i was going to try to put on some train horns i don't think it's going to happen though that was the thing i was going to try to do but i bought them for cheap and this solenoid i don't think it works and so i don't think that's going to happen but that's okay the truck will drive fine without train horns been an evening but we got clearance up there you can see and if I can get over here there's clearance up there as well so no more bag rubbing yes they probably don't look the prettiest but that's okay for now we will obviously put those nicer arms on later once we get them hopefully they'll be here once we get back from Smoky Mountain next week but I think we got it. So let's finish putting these wheels and tires on. I need to drain the water out of my air tanks. It's something I haven't done for a little while. So I need to get that done. And I think the truck will be ready to go. Check some fluids and stuff and be ready for its trip tomorrow. back on the ground that definitely took a little longer than i expected it to but they are clearanced they are good so now we don't have to worry about that anymore as far as bags rubbing and yes we will put them other arms on when we get them i'm excited for those but i was going to try to wash the truck but <laughs> it's 10 30 so don't think that's going to happen that's all right it can go dirty it's not that big of a deal well, I know this is probably a short video for you guys. Sorry about that, but I was just trying to get some stuff filmed for you guys before I left for Smoky Mountain and Rod Run. We are leaving in the morning to head down there. And uh, so by the time you guys see this video, it'll be Friday and we will be there. So if you're seeing this video and you're not in Tennessee at Smoky Mountain Trek Fest or Rod Run, you should be. <laughs> Anyways, we're down there for the show, though, and you want to come check us out. We'll be at the, the VIP area. The outside VIP area for Smoky Mountain Truck Fest, and then we will also be at that uh, Buzz Bowl Creamery. It's uh, where Corey and Hannah, a bunch of us, gather and sit. So look us up, come hang out, check out the trucks, chat with us, all that fun stuff. So I think that's going to do it for this video, though. Appreciate you guys watching. God bless. We'll see you on.